are not the butt of nobody's jokes. We are not taking any more of this unwarranted abuse. We are not, okay? We are here. We are it is another chit chat. Get ready with me. It's really just a chit chat. We're talking and doing makeup, okay? I have been recovering from the girl Kobe. Um, this is the second time I've had it. The first time I got it was in June of 2020. That was the first time. And the second time was this year, December of 2021. The first time I was asymptomatic, I was fine. Like your girl was living, it was fine. I did not feel, I had no symptoms that first time. This time, y'all, she came with the vengeance. She said, oh, you think I'm going to get you the first time and you was just not going to feel nothing? Girl, take two. When she came back, girl, I lost my sense of smell. I lost my appetite. And with losing my appetite, I lost a bunch of weight. The girl kickstarted my weight loss like wanted to eat i like i literally lost my appetite i could not finish a meal i lost my sense of smell like it was everything they said it was gonna be it was it was horrible i wouldn't wish it on anybody like the coughing hurt after a while it was just bad it was bad okay i'm coming out of the tail end of it um <clears throat> I am going to go back to work next week and yeah, so it just, it was, wouldn't wish it on anyone. But let's go ahead and get started with the makeup and talk. I don't know what look I'm going for today, but when I tell you like when she came for me, I literally, all things stopped. Like I wasn't wearing much makeup before anyway, hence my um minimal makeup no makeup video look that i filmed before this one i'll link it right there if you haven't seen it check the girl out so i wasn't doing much with my makeup anyway but <clears throat> i hate these things on the sleeves like what is that for anyway um but like when the girl hit I literally, I didn't wear no makeup at all, nothing. Girl, I didn't even put on a bonnet to sleep. That's how much I was struggling. Like everything suffered. My hair, like my style, this hair was real. Oh, my bad. Like this hair was real cute when I first got it done. Like, girl, it was cute. Kobe hit me and I let my hair go. I didn't put on no makeup. I didn't even wear lashes. I did none of the things. I didn't want no parts in any of it. Like it was that bad, okay? So let's go ahead and try for a full makeup look. And I decided I'm gonna go back to products that I used before that I haven't used in a long time. So we're gonna do some oldie but goodies. <sighs> Let me get a drink of water because shortness of shortness of breath <sighs> is a part of it and it's bad. Oh, <clears throat> I don't know what look I'm gonna go for. We're just gonna go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this James A. Charles palette um the morphe time streams charles and i'm gonna go into this black because i feel bold like we're gonna go bold so i think we all just kind of stopped wearing makeup like that when we all had nowhere to go but then even as the world started sort of slowly opening back up i think I personally gravitated more towards the makeup, no makeup look, the very effortless, very quick look. And I have not done an actual look with 
actual colors in a minute, okay? So, I kind of forgot how to do it. This is, this is kind of like practice again, okay? I already had done my brows and stuff off camera because I do not have the time to talk and do my brows. I just can't do it for some reason. <clears throat> let's talk youtube y'all i came back to the platform like i didn't really go nowhere um actually i haven't been uploading but i've still been very much watching like my faves and i've noticed that the people that i watched on youtube like consistently the ones that look like me you know, like black creators and stuff, I've noticed that they've slowly, but surely like gravitated away from the platform. I've noticed that they weren't posting as much, like some of the ones that um, their content really resonated with me. Like even if it didn't resonate with me anymore, I still watched them because I still like support them and um, it's still very nice to see people who look like me like reaching new heights and doing new things and like opportunities opening up for them. But then they kind of just like stop posting or stop coming onto the platform and I was very sad about that. Um, I'm using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. And we're gonna go into Saffron, which is this red. And we're gonna use that as our transition. Um, I was just very sad about like my faves are not uploading like they used to. It was just... Like, I just felt lost on the platform. Like, who do I watch now? So, who do you guys watch? Who are some of your faves? Cause I really don't, I really don't have that many people on the platform, on YouTube that I watch like that anymore. Just because everyone's like either getting off of it or moving in a different direction, I don't know. But then I came across like some conversations of how black content creators are not relatable. And I started thinking like, is this, is this why they're not posting as much anymore? Are we the villains that are making them not even wanna post for us anymore? Okay, so I did wonder why so many so I did wonder why so many specifically dark skin beauty content creators have left the space and I did talk with some of my friends who are not like posting as much or not creating as much content anymore with just everything that's gone on some people just need a break. Others have gotten, sorry. Others have gotten discouraged to the point where they just feel like that realm, this platform has made it painfully clear that there is not enough space for too many black girls. You know, there's a token here, a token there, um, but that's all you get. So that's kind of the general vibe. And I can also speak for, I, I felt that way to an extent, but I took it as, you know, the people who resonate with me will resonate with me, the people who don't, will not like i am okay with being small obviously everybody wants to grow right obviously everyone wants opportunity obviously everybody wants the fruit of the fruit of their labor to pay off eventually duh but i am just taking it as 
I'm not taking a step back anymore. Like I'm not going to take a step back. I like doing this. I feel like there's representation when girls my skin tone look at me and see that, hey, that product works for her. I can try it. Like, or hey, she's doing this. I can do it too. That's all that matters to me. Like that's literally it. Okay, so I'm going to cut my crease and I'm using Juvia's Place Shade Stick in Grenada. It's very light. It's like a, that shade. So I'm gonna use that to cut my crease. <clears throat> but yeah, so I just have to remind myself of what my mission is here and why I am here. Oh, that did not work like I wanted it to. Um, I might actually have to go from the actual thing. So I think society basically, not so nonchalantly telling black content creators that, you know, there's no room for all of you in this space has discouraged a lot of people and I will say that I was discouraged at some point too. Like, it's not, it's not rocket science to see that there will be some at the top, but then like there's nowhere near as many, what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is Black comes in so many different shades and there's just not enough representation yet for all of the shades. And if I can make the little girl that looks like me know that, hey, you are You are beautiful, you are special, you're just as unique as any and everybody else, then ah, that works for me. I don't need... I honestly truly don't need millions of subscribers because I just want to be a voice for the little me, you know, the young me that didn't see myself in actresses, that didn't see myself in beauty ads. But now I do, like I am so grateful for the people who look like me, who broke down those barriers, who did not let society tell them like, there's no place for you here. And just to even be a part of that is what I strive for. That is why I'm still going in this platform, in this beauty realm, because beauty does not belong to one type of race, does not belong to one type of skin tone. It does not belong to one race. It does not belong to one nationality. It doesn't. Beauty doesn't belong to anybody and nobody gets to gatekeep it. And that is why I'm still here. <clears throat> Respectfully. And that is why I'm staying here. Like, I just have to remember my why. Why are you doing it? For the little girls who were told they were ugly. For the little girls who don't think they can make it somewhere or make it in a space because nobody else in that space looks like them, you know? Speaking of being told you're ugly, I actually, like, I did not, I don't have that experience of just believing I was ugly. Like when I was growing up, I did not grow up believing I was an ugly child. I mean, yeah, there was teasing and oh, um, Midnight Black or 
African this and African that or blacky. You know, there were there were those, but it never really made me feel like I was just ugly. I just I I don't know. I was thinking about that the other day. I never actually felt like I was just ugly. You know? That cut crease was a lot of work. I know that was a lot of rambling, but yeah, that is why I am still in this space because I think everyone deserves to see like more than one face, more than a couple of faces. Like ain't nobody telling the white girls that, hey, 50 of y'all can make it. Nobody else is getting any representation, any opportunity, any nothing. Okay, um, let's see. So I cut my crease with Grenada. And I am going into the Nudes palette from Juvia's Place. And I am going to go into this very, very peach white color. It's the best I can describe it as. And I'm going to set my crease with that. Okay. I done forgot what I was saying. Um, what was I saying? Hold on, I can't talk and cut my crease at the same time. So give me a minute, please. So now that I have set my crease with the nudes palette i'm gonna go ahead and put the color i actually put on my lid so we are still in the hooded beauty desert dusk palette and we are taking twilight which is this purpley shimmer color and i'm using twilight because netflix is taking it off in january and i'm sad about it any and everybody that knows me knows that that is like my everyday chill type of series like I just play it and it just goes so I'm just going to use my finger and a brush to set that on the lid I just love how these colors pop on my skin it's absolutely gorgeous, darling. I'm just gonna go back into this palette and go into the red saffron transition shade we used. And I am going to clean this up up here. This is guilt. Okay, um, back to the James Charles palette into the black and add that in some more. I know we look like a raccoon right now, but we're gonna fix it. It's gonna look good, I promise. Well, I just, okay, I'm gonna put some lashes on and then we will keep talking. Okay, so I've done my eyes. We're gonna clean this up, trust me, okay? I'm using an oldie but goodie. It is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation 375 Java. And I did a review on this years ago when it first came out. I will link that in the cards too. And we're going right into it. It's been a minute since I've used this foundation forgot how much I love this one. I still always have one though. 
Anyway, so what I was saying about my why for me still being here is because to me, representation matters and it matters in more than one, more than two people, three, four, five, six, seven, not even just 10 of us. There should be a lot of us. There should be so many that you just can't keep count. Like that's how many people that look like me should be up there in this space. It's not reality, but it should be. I knew the beauty industry was real messed up when I was reading a tweet and somebody said that Molly Mae was racially ambiguous. Like, I, I'm gonna find that tweet. It was something about um, following beauty influencers and something. And then somebody put that girl in racially in the racially ambiguous category. Ha <sighs> Molly Mae is racially ambiguous. Like, who? Who said that? Like, who said that? So... I don't know. I just feel like there is so much diversity within just the Black community that we are here. We are taking what is ours and that is a beauty standards. We are taking that back, okay? Because look at all of this velvet skin. Like, look at this. Who said it was not desirable. It was meant to be shown off and it will be. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna use Tunisia, the shade sticks from Juvia Place to highlight. Y'all, I have not done my makeup like this in a minute. And another reason why there needs to be like so many dark skin beauty content creators is because when there's not that many, people get bold and they say stuff and expect no one to call them out on it. And this was in light of a beauty lifestyle vlogger who's mixed. I believe she's mixed. I'm guessing she's mixed. She's light skinned though. And she was just ranting on and on and on about how she's so blessed that she doesn't have her mom's African-American hair, how her mom tells her she's lucky all the time because she doesn't have her hair. Girl, come again, Miss Ma'am. Like, come again? And when there's no representation, people like that colorist get bold. And I guess you can argue like she's not a colorist because she was talking about um, how she's lucky she doesn't have essentially 4C hair. Her anti-blackness was showing though. I don't know, that's another thing too. Like I, I have 4C hair, but I just, I never looked at 3B or 3C hair and be like, why can't I have that? Like, I just never did because I've always just, like, I grew up with my mom doing my hair. So I guess I never had like a complex. I don't know. But I just always grew up like, 
you know, my hair, I can wear my hair in braids today. I can wear my hair out tomorrow. Like I just always knew there was just so, oh, it's orange. This is not the one that I like. Uh, this is the flower setting power from Beauty Bakery and it's brown. I really like their cassava. Me and their brown shade don't get along that well. Um, I love their cassava, but I'm out of it. So we're gonna use brown. Oh, Jesus. It'll be okay though. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just, I've never grew up thinking I wanted lighter skin, even though I clearly knew that people talked about darker skin. Like kids were mean growing up, but I never was like, oh, if I was lighter or if my hair was this or like my hair, I always liked it because I can change it up whenever. So I never had, like I was aware of those complexes that the world tries to push on darker skin black people, but I was just never, like I never desired light skin. I can't say that I even ever desired a looser texture. When I got perms when I was younger, like I never thought of it as I want white people hair or I want a looser texture. It was just a part of, I don't know, changing my hair, but I stopped in my early, very early 20s, like maybe, actually maybe 19, 20, maybe 20. I was probably 20 years old when, uh, yeah, I was 20 when I stopped getting relaxers and literally just let my hair grow out of my head the way it was going to. And it, like it just happened it's not like it's not a conscious choice that i made either it was just i went so long without a relaxer i was just like huh my hair is thriving so i'm not gonna get another one so that's literally what it was for me oh i am in the chocolates palette and i'm in this dark brown and i'm using that as a, I'm using that to as a contour. So yeah, I don't know. This video is just very impromptu. I am just tired. We are tired of the unwarranted abuse. I'm going into the queen palette into the let's do this purple as a blush something different i know i still i look crazy right now i know hold on we're gonna fix it okay no we're gonna go into the red All in all, it's just very tiring, like getting on social media and somebody has said something ignorant about dark skinned people. And it's just very tiring. Like we are just harassed without even doing anything. Like the unwarranted harassment is just, it's so ridiculous at this point. Like, just leave us be. I know, like, I get it. We are magical beings that just fascinate everyone. But let us live. Like, somebody's always saying something ignorant about dark skin or 4C hair. Like, just shut up. Just shut up up for a second just shut up 
so tiring. I did say we were doing like old products that I used to love, but just haven't touched in a minute. And if you know, then you know that Fenty Beauty Metal Moon is a favorite of mine. I'm really loving this makeup look. Okay, for the lips, um, I feel like we can do something subtle. Okay, so for the lips, we are doing the Beauty Bakery Drive Me Glazy Lip Whip, and I do like this one. I recently started using it again. Forgot how pretty it was. Voila, this is the final look. I'm really loving how this makeup came out. Everything, the, the foundation, the eyes, the lips, the yes, and yes, and yes, yes. Okay, let me stop. But I am really loving how it came out. I have not seen myself like this in a minute. Like I have not worn real clothes and put on actual makeup in a minute. I miss it, I love it, I'm back, okay? We're back to this. So the moral of my rant was black women, especially dark skinned black women, you're beautiful, we are a prize. That is the moral of this story and that is what y'all can run and tell, okay? Run and tell that we are the prize, okay? We are feminine. We are beautiful. We are here. We are not nobody's second best, okay? Okay? Mm. Period. Boo. Anyway, that is it for this video. I just want to do my makeup and talk about how amazing we really are and there really needs to be more representation in every single space okay and there will be but yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it I hope you can take something away from it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. And I will talk to y'all in my next video, okay? Um, <clears throat> it feels good to be back. I'm excited for the direction we're going to take this channel, okay? So in the meantime, take care of you, love you, and I love you too. Okay, bye y'all.